everybody this is mary with mary's chit chat doing a burn review on this beauty right here sorry about that guys almost dropped my phone um on this beauty right here tis the season from bath and body works it is your 14.5 ounce a three wick candle um i just lit this not too long ago i've been um sitting here for maybe i say a good 10 15 minutes um, these wicks, let me just talk about these wicks real quick before I get into the scent and throw and all the other stuff. Um, I just wanted to do this a little bit earlier, um, before it pulled out all the way. Um, only because these wicks, when I first burned them, I don't know if everybody's getting this with the, um, this packaging right here for 2019. I don't know what this packaging is called, but it is the start of their winter collection, I believe, right after the Nordic collection. Um, for whatever reason, these wicks are like massive. They were those tree trunk wicks. And when I lit them, the flames were huge. And I mean huge. Um, they are starting to form like a mushroom top just a little bit on probably that third one on the back right there. Um, but the flames are really small. Now it's not translating very well on camera also because I have the flash on, but the flames are like really, really light. Um, which I think it's okay because then it burns slower, but then I feel like also it doesn't burn strong enough for the entire thing to pull out properly. Um, cause if you can see, it's already starting to get a lip and this thing's not hot at all. And I feel like it's just going to burn down in this little fidget spinner shape type wax pull. But anyway, like I said, I've only been burning it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so I am going to give it a chance. So I'm just going to leave that alone um, regarding the pooling for right now. But it's a beautiful burgundy color. Um, the wax is that deep red, burgundy-ish, maroonish, red wine type color. Um, so when it pulls out, that wax looks gorgeous. The packaging's beautiful. Um, it's your regular tis a season. It's usually this merlot-ish color um it's not translating very well either on my phone because like I said I do have the flash on and so it looks like a like a neon pink or something but um <coughs> it's not it's a really beautiful color there are highlights of pink in there there's this little I guess sparkly iridescent little glittery stuff that they got going on here um i don't have the scent notes unfortunately i did not write them down um but you know it smells like cinnamon to me it smells like um a little bit of some type of woodsy note um as many times as i've gotten to the season you would think i would know the scent notes by now but let me pick this up real quick and just read it. Don't mind my Bath and Body Works bag over there, you guys, by my Christmas tree. It's, I have empties over there. So it's going to be rich red apple, which I get, sweet cinnamon, which I get, and cedar wood, which I get. So that's what the notes are, which that's what it smells like. That's what I smell. Um, it's such a beautiful candle. It smells really good. Um, I have this in the room spray. I have this in, um, the hand soap and this candle so oh and I have it in the small um uh single wick as well in the mason jar ones when they were on sale for $2.95 actually no I bought it after that $2.95 sale because I exchanged something that's why I have it um but I no actually I did I'm sorry you guys I am everywhere with this I did I bought two of them during the sale so Anyway, it's such a gloomy day outside, so I felt like, you know, lighting this candle. I've been a little bummed this past couple days because I have some stuff going on. Um, work's getting kind of difficult, so I feel like, you know, candles just make me happy. I love lighting them. Um, you know, I wish my week was a little bit better, but, 
you know, it is what it is. And for whatever reason, I feel like these candles uplift me a little bit. And doing these reviews for you guys helps me out also to start my day or end my days um, whenever I choose to, you know, upload. Um, I feel like I have a friend that I'm talking to. I know that sounds weird, but, you know, I really like your guys' feedback and I really appreciate everybody subscribing. Um, those of you that like my videos that just, you know, take time out of your day just to sit here and watch. I really appreciate it. Um, but like I said, yeah, this is a great candle. If you guys are looking for candles to possibly pick up on candle day, I do suggest this one. I will be buying a couple more of these um, during candle day, which is once again, I think I've said this in about three videos now. It's going to be December 7th. My local store here, the lady told me that one of them opens at seven, the other one's going to open at six. So it's a 15 candle limit. I think per person or per transaction. So I'm going to be bringing my 14 year old daughter with me because mama's trying to get all the candles she can get on that day. And I have not yet received my mailer coupons that everybody's been um, getting on Instagram. So I'm getting kind of nervous. I feel like I should call customer service to see what's going on because I make a lot of purchases. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm in Arizona, so I don't know how long it takes them to mail, you know, their mailers out or whatnot. Um, but hopefully I get mine soon. So anyway, you guys, hopefully everybody's having a great day. I just wanted to show you guys my candle that I'm burning on this cold, rainy day out here in Arizona. And I wanted to show you guys that weird ass wax pull and these little tiny flames. Anyway, hopefully it does get better. Um, like I said, I've only been burning this for a little bit, but I've been talking on here for going on seven minutes now and it still hasn't done much except for, I want to say it kind of just went down on itself. So like I said, if I have this weird fidget spinner shaped wax pool, I'm going to be very upset and I'm going to have to go return this and get another one. You know, and I'm going to check the wicks this time um, and I'm going to make sure that hopefully on all of these, the wicks aren't so thick. I feel like that has something to do with it. Um, if they have this in different packaging with smaller wicks or thinner wicks, I think I'm going to go with those um, because I really, really love this scent. So, yeah. All right, guys, hopefully everybody's having a wonderful and safe Thursday. Stay blessed, and um, hopefully my next video is a little bit more uplifting. And I got a, a few more candles that I wanted to do. Oh, so last night, let me tell you real quick before I head out. Last night, I finally burned one of my Land of Sweets candles, and it was the hot cocoa and cream. You guys, the scent is so strong when you open up the jar, but when it was burning, I literally smelled nothing I had to sit on top of the candle just to get like a little waft of it and it was so disappointing because it was my first time burning hot cocoa and cream sorry about that guys I had to stop you for a second because I had a little coughing spell but um it was my first time burning hot cocoa and cream and it was so disappointing because I was really hoping I would smell it like when I get when I got on top of it I literally smelled hot cocoa it kind of smelled like a brownie to me which I loved um I went as far as wanting and being so desperate for the scent. I ended up spraying the room spray in my in my living room and I smelled the room spray. I didn't smell the candle. So hopefully the second burn is a little bit better on that one. But after the second burn, if it still doesn't do anything, I'm going to go ahead and exchange that one. Um just for an, another one, the same exact one. I don't want another candle. I want the Land of Sweets, but I'm not going to burn it. So it'll just be a part of my collection. It'll just be sitting there. And every time I want to smell the hot cocoa and cream candle, I'll pick it up and smell it. Just like the queen of the girl geeks. She loves sniffing her candles from time to time, even when they're not burning. I love doing the same thing. Um, but I'm going to try doing that and see how well that works out for me. But hopefully, like I said, on the second burn, it's even better. And I have the room to raise. So I feel like I'll be okay if I do want that scent throughout the house. Um... Yeah, I think that is it. So, yeah. Um, I'm also going to get another um, version of the hot cocoa and cream um, on candle day if they have any more of them out. Just to see if maybe it's just the Land of Sweets packaging that it was very, very light on. Um, because I'm going to, maybe I'm going to try to get the Nordic Collection one where the... Um, 
packaging is the little cat in front of the window. I've heard quite a few people say that one's a little bit strong. Um, so I just really, really like the scent and I burned it last night, like I said, for the first time and I enjoyed it when I was able to smell it when my nose was, you know, deep inside of that wax. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. You guys, hopefully, like I said, everybody's having a great Thursday. All right, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.